What is up, dynamic athletes out there? Welcome to episode one of Secret Sauce Sunday. And for the first Secret Sauce Sunday, we're gonna talk a little bit about cardio. As a trainer, I get asked all the time, how long should I do cardio? How much time, how many days, how many, how many days? And I tell my clients now, let's not focus on the time, let's focus on how many calories we burn. Now, in essence, 3,500 calories is a pound. Uh, if you do 500 calories, we just be figuring in seven days, we've burnt 3,500 calories. We're just talking about strictly calories. We're not talking about calories burned. We're not talking about your diet. We're not talking about all the other exercises. If you come in, have a good workout. You did 30 minutes. Come in, have a piss poor workout. You did 30 minutes. 30 minutes is 30 minutes. But the amount of effort that we put in is different. So let's focus on the calories burned instead of the time. Now, ways to calculate how many calories burn. I use a polar heart rate monitor. This is the kind that you strap around your chest. Uh, you don't have to run out and go buy no super expensive heart rate monitor. Or you can use the heart rate monitors that come on the, that come on the, uh, um, on the, the machines, you know, and they'll kind of tell you how many calories burn. I don't understand, I don't know how accurate those are, but you can use it. Like I said, you don't have to go out and go spend an arm and a leg and go get you something super, super fancy. You just need a basic, basic, basic heart rate monitor that will tell you how many calories burned. I prefer the ones with the strap because I don't wear my heart rate monitor 24 seven. I only wear it when I do cardio and I just feel like they are a little bit more accurate when um, calculating how many calories you burn. So who wants to pay attention to time anyway? Time suck. So like I said, 3,500 calories is a pound. You know, you're gonna add it up. If you decide you wanna do 500 calories per workout within seven days, that's just a, that's a pound of fat you have burned uh, just doing strictly cardio. So there's your secret sauce for the day. I'm hitting you every week with some secret sauce tips. Calories over time, calories burned over time. And also, calories burned, also it equates to that effort that you're putting in. Obviously, the harder you push, the more, the more your heart rate is gonna be elevated and the more calories you're gonna tend to burn. So also you may wanna find out what your fat burning zone is. You know, you wanna stay, it's cool to do your runs and all of that, but if you wanna burn the most effective amount of calories, you tend to wanna stay in that heart, that, that, that fat burning zone. Quick equation, do 220 minus your age, and then you can times that by 50%, 60%. I wanna say 50 to 70%, don't 100% quote me on that but that's about the range that you want. I would not go lower than 50% of that. 220 minus your age times 50%. That is the, I would, I would say that would be the minimum heart rate that you want to be at to burn the most effective amount of calories. So there you have it. Shirt sure says, Lord, forgive me for these gains that I just received hitting his back. And I will be back at you next Sunday with Secret Sauce Sunday. Stay tuned for Wednesday's Must See TV. Coming at you, Dynamic Fitness is gaining speed. And we out. We're ready to get this Super Bowl in.